following a developing story out of West Miami Dade, where two teenagers are in custody right now, accused of leading police on a wild chase. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the scene where it all came to an end. And Peter, what can you tell us? Well, Elliot, it all ended right here, just south of Flagler Street and just east of the Palmetto Expressway, when the car crashed into a wall here by the Palmetto. This chase lasted less than 10 minutes. It involved multiple agencies. Police tell us that it all started when the two young suspects were seen trying to burglarize a home. West Miami police take a suspect into custody after they say he and an accomplice, who's also 17 years old, led them on a wild chase. It all ends here when their stolen white car crashes into the side of a wall at Southwest 4th Street on 77th Avenue. Jordan Lopez saw the police pursuit. Man, I saw a young guy in a, in a panic mode, and, and I said, let me get out of here because, you know, desperate times call for def desperate measures, so I just moved to the side. Police say the pursuit that ended with this arrest started when the burglars were seen removing a screen from this nearby home. Matthew Caceres says his father confronted them and called the authorities. Uh, well, he saw two guys who did not belong, to be honest, and he called them out. He confronted them? Of course. And as, they, they, as they say, say something. You see something, say something. Fortunately, a West Miami police detective in an unmarked car was nearby. The undercover detective drove by, spotted them trying to hide, ducked down in the car, and uh, when they spotted him, they took off and the chase began. It went on for like five or eight minutes uh, all over Miami-Dade County. This could have been a very dangerous situation with this chase. Yes, absolutely. A, a chase like this where it ends up no one's hurt, the bad guys or especially the police officers is good, and the interagency cooperation was fantastic. The son of the Good Samaritan who called the cops says he is proud of what his father did. I mean, I guess I'm proud. Uh, he raised me to be the same way. Uh, courageous in courageous in doing right because there's always uh, it's always an easy way and then there's always the right way and so he raised me to have integrity. And Police Chief Nelson Andrew commands a Good Samaritan for taking action. The car was stolen three days ago, and now these young suspects face a series of charges ranging from assaulting police officers to fleeing and eluding to attempted burglary. We're live in West Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Elliot.